Hello, these are the guided notes for graphing and analyzing rational functions. In order to succeed with this notes, you should have your graphing and analyzing rational functions guided notes visible. Let's get started. The first part is the vocabulary. The horizontal asymptote, which we've studied before, is the line parallel to the x-axis that a graph approaches but never reaches as the inputs of the function increase or decrease infinitely. An example of this would be y equals 1. The vertical asymptote is the line parallel to the y-axis that a graph approaches but never reaches as inputs of the function x increase or decrease. An example of this would be x equals 6. On the vertical asymptote, the values of the inputs, that is, the x values, are getting closer and closer to 6, but they would never actually be equal to 6. On many graphs, both the horizontal and the vertical asymptotes are represented using a dashed line. The y-intercept of a graph is the value of the function when x is equal to 0. This is the place where the graph intersects the y-axis. A reminder, to find the y-intercept, replace x with 0. The x-intercepts are the point or points at which the graph intersects the x-axis. At the x-intercept, the function value is 0. To find the x-intercept, you should replace y or f of x with 0. In our cases, this means you'll replace the whole left-hand side of the function with 0. It's important to remember that some functions will have no x-intercept or y-intercept. And finally, domain and range. Recall that the domain is the set of allowed input or x values. The range is the set of allowed output or y values. If something is a vertical asymptote value, it is automatically excluded from the domain. If something is a horizontal asymptote value, it is automatically excluded from the range. So vertical asymptote x equals 6, x equals 6 would not be part of the domain. If you have a horizontal asymptote, y equals 2, that value of y equals 2 is definitely not going to be part of the range. Our first example is a Bobo style of graph. Bobo means bigger, that is, bigger exponent on the bottom. It gives a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. One of your guided note functions should say Bobo above it. It should match to the function f of x is equal to x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 4. We're going to find the horizontal asymptote, the vertical asymptote, the domain and range, the x-intercepts, and y-intercepts. The horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. That's because this has a bigger exponent on the bottom. You should draw a dashed line at y equals 0 right now. 
To find the range, we're going to have to look at the graph. To find the vertical asymptote, write the equation x squared minus 4 equals 0. What you're doing is setting the denominator of the fraction equal to 0. I solved this by factoring to get x equals 2 and x equals negative 2. This graph has two vertical asymptotes. The domain of the graph is all real numbers except x equals 2 and x equals negative 2. Next, we'll find the y-intercept and the x-intercept. The y-intercept is easiest, so let's find that first. When I substitute in 0 in place of x, I get 0 minus 1 over 0 squared minus 4. This is negative 1 over negative 4, which reduces to just 1 fourth. On your graph, you can estimate to plot the point 0, comma, 1 fourth. To find the x-intercept, I'm going to replace f of x with 0. I get the equation you see on the screen. Now this equation will only be equal to 0 if x minus 1 is equal to 0. So I'll write a new equation. 0 equals x minus 1. If I solve this, I get x equals 1. This means the graph has one x-intercept at x equals 1. Let's go to the next slide and see an example of this Bobo graph. As you can see, this is kind of a complicated looking function. And you may be saying, hey, I thought I had to draw an asymptote at y equals 0. Can't the graph never cross the asymptote? It's true that the graph does not cross the horizontal asymptote, but that only happens as the values of x get very large, that is, close to infinity, or very small, that is, close to negative infinity. So you see, this middle part of the graph does actually cross y equals 0. You will see the two vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 2 and at x equals positive 2. I think those are pretty clear from this graph. Let's move on to the next example the bot n style of graph. Bot n means bigger on top, no horizontal asymptote. This type of function has its biggest exponent on the top of the graph. You can see in our example, f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 4 divided by x. So that bigger exponent, x squared, is on the top of the fractional expression. Once again, we'll find horizontal and vertical asymptotes, domain and range, and um, the x and y intercept. Horizontal asymptote? None, because this graph is bigger on top. For the range, you should look at the graph. You might be tempted to say, hey, it'll be all real numbers, but that's not the case here. Vertical asymptote, I'm going to set my denominator equal to 0. This is pretty easy to solve. x equals 0, well, my vertical asymptote has to be at x equals 0.
domain will be all real numbers except x equals 0. The y-intercept, well, when I substitute 0 in place of x, I get negative 4 over 0. This is undefined. That means that my graph has no y-intercept. For my x-intercept, I'm going to replace the left-hand side with 0. I get this rather horrible-looking equation. But I know that this is only equal to 0 if the numerator is equal to 0. Again, I'm going to solve x squared minus 3x minus 4 by factoring. I get x equals 4 and x equals negative 1 for answers to this equation. I strongly recommend that you try this on your own to make sure you also get the same answers. I also want to go back and point out I was a little bit overzealous in talking about the horizontal asymptote. As you saw in our previous graph, having a horizontal asymptote doesn't always mean that a value is excluded from the range. Much of the time, it does, and almost always in simple rational function. But in general, please look at the graph to determine the range. And here's our graph of that bot n function. You see it looks kind of like our final example is eats DC. For some reason, this always reminds me of Godzilla movies, although I guess that would be steps on Tokyo. In this case, eats DC means exponents are the same, divide coefficients. Really, it should say, divide leading coefficients. You want to divide coefficients of the terms that have the largest exponents. Let's look at our example. Here's our function f of x equals 4x plus 2 over 2x minus 1. Our horizontal asymptote, I'm going to look at 4x and 2x as my terms with the largest exponents. So I divide 4x divide by 2x. That's the same as dividing 4 over 2. My horizontal asymptote is at y equals 2. Once again, for the range, look at the graph. Vertical asymptote, I'm going to solve 2x minus 1 equals 0, because the denominator is 2x minus 1. When I solve this, I get x equals 1 half. This tells me that my domain will be all real numbers, except x equals 1 half. Substituting 0 in place of x, gives me my y-intercept. I get 0 plus 2 divided by 0 minus 1. 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2. So I'll get a y-intercept of 0, negative 2. For my x-intercept, I'm once again going to set x equal to that entire fraction. I know that 0 will be the result if the numerator alone is equal to 0. So I can instead solve 0 equals 4x plus 2. As you can see, when we solve 0 equals 4x plus 2, we get x equals negative 1 half. And here's the graph of the function. Although the vertical asymptote is not clearly laid out, you can see that it's probably going to be at about one half. Also, you can see that the graph, as the values of x get larger, is getting close to y equals 2. This also happens as the values of x get smaller. In this case, the horizontal asymptote 
truly have been excluded from the range of the function. So the range of this function would be all real numbers except y equals 2. Now it's your turn to try. On your notes organizer, please do examples 1, 2, and 3. Give the horizontal asymptote, vertical asymptote, domain, range, x, and y-intercept. You can graph using technology, or you can graph using a table of values from x equals negative 5 to x equals positive 5. Check your work with the teacher. For homework, you're going to do worksheet 9-2-B. Please do all problems except the word problem. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.